Hello cheapskaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. A lovely friend of mine started a discussion a few days ago on the thieves in our lives. She started the, she started the discussion with this verse from Ephesians. If you are a thief, stop stealing. Begin using your hands for honest work and then give generously to others in need. Now you can look it up in your Bible. It's Ephesians 4.29. Terry talked about the many ways of stealing and that had me thinking. Our lives are filled with thieves. We are surrounded by them. Now, it's not just the people who would steal from us, but the biggest thieves in our lives are the so-called modern conveniences that steal our time, uh, time for honest work, time to give generously to others, time to spend on our relationships. Things like this very tool I'm using to chat with you, YouTube, is a thief. It steals our time if we are not very, very careful. Or social media, another thief. There are so many social media um, tools that steal our time. I had to laugh the other day when a, another friend mentioned that her teenagers told her that only old people... <laughs> Only old people use Facebook. <laughs> so I laughed and went, whoops, well, you know, I'm officially, according to the teens, old. Apparently, if you're young, you use Instagram. Then there's Twitter and TikTok and a dozen other social media platforms that are used every day, many times every day, by millions of people. These things are thieves in our lives. They suck us in with an interesting story or a post or a meme. And before we know it, an hour's passed. This is time we can never get back. It's time that has been stolen from us, sneakily, that we haven't put into our relationships, that we haven't put into our homes or our gardens or, <gasps> shock, horror, our paid employment. It's time that we didn't use to give generously. Now, just this week, I had a complaint that, you know, I was expecting too much. And I had to understand that some people were busy. They just didn't have time to cook from scratch or buy ingredients. They were far too busy. So during the conversation, when I pointed out that, you know, Everyone has the same 24 hours in a day. It's how we use those 24 hours that makes the difference. It came out that perhaps social media and YouTube and Netflix and Stan were stealing this person's time. It wasn't her full-time job that was the problem. She works full time, she has small children, but that wasn't the problem. It was that when she came home, she sat down and picked up her phone and went down the social media rabbit hole. And then dinner was late and the washing was still in the machine and the kids hadn't done their homework and their reading. Her time was stolen from her. She complained she was too busy and didn't have the time to hang the washing and cook dinner or supervise homework or listen to reading. Well, I sort of pointed out that the two hours or so she spent sitting on social media was stolen time. That in that two hours, the washing would have been out of the machine. And the dinner would have been prepared and cooked and eaten. And the kids' homework would have been done and checked 
and there would have been time to listen to the readers. And she would probably have had time to sit and check her socials and not been stressed. These things are insidious time thieves. Other thieves we have in our lives are called convenience items. These items steal not just our time because you need time to work to earn the money to pay for them, but they steal our money. Oftentimes, convenience saves us nothing, but can cost us a lot. We forget that we have to work hours to pay for that takeaway meal and that one takeaway meal could equal half the weekly grocery budget. That's stealing our money too. It's not convenience. It's a thief. Another thief most of us battle with, and this is a big one, is guilt. Guilt that we don't want to work the bookstall at church. Guilt that we can't really afford to go for coffee and cake with friends, but we go because we don't want to look poor. Guilt that we don't really want to and can't really afford to go away for the weekend. But again, you know, keeping up appearances, we go. Guilt that we don't want our children in an after-school activity because they already have enough to deal with, but we send them anyway because everyone else sends their kids and we don't want ours to miss out. We don't want them to feel deprived. Guilt is a thief too. It steals our confidence, it steals our contentment and it can steal our time because we give in to it. I could keep going about the thieves in our lives but I'm pretty sure you know which ones you have to deal with. We don't all deal with the same ones. But the answer is simple for all of them. Just say no. No to spending time on social media. No to spending money you don't have. No to being blackmailed into feeling guilty. Just a little two-letter word, no. It's the first word most babies learn. Now, I think if a baby can learn to say no and mean it, and we all know that babies mean it when they say no, surely we adults can too. Don't give an excuse. Just say no. You could throw in a thank you on the end, but that should be the end of the conversation. Now, sometimes your thief will keep on at you. And my response is simple if it happens to me. I just ask, what part of no don't you understand? Now, you can say it snarkily, or you can say it nicely, or you can say it jokingly. That's up to you and dependent on the tone of the conversation. But just say no. Your responsibilities are to your God, to your family, to your home. Those are the priorities. The top three things in your life. And anyone or anything that takes your attention and time from them is a thief. So find the thieves in your life and put them where they belong at the very bottom of your list of priorities. Before I go, thank you so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed to our channel, please click that subscribe button and then the bell next to it and select how often you'd like to be notified of new videos on our channel. And please feel free to leave a comment I read them all and I do my best to answer each one, especially if there is a question. And lastly, if you know someone who might like our channel or this video or might benefit from knowing about Cheapskates Club, please use the share button to send them the link to this video. It helps YouTube, but more importantly, it helps our channel to be recognised more easily. And the more easy it is to find us, the easier it is to spread the message that it is not only okay to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing, but it can still be done, even in today's crazy world. Happy cheapskating, everyone.